Anybody up for a little unboxing? Estate sale goodness. Starting off strong with some Eagle ball jars. I got this guy for only a dollar, but I didn't notice one of his legs was gone. So sad. That's okay, he'll find a nice place in a junk drawer treasure box. This will be cute for someone. Mid-century vibes letter holder. And this beautiful piece of needlework. This one was actually the first one I picked out, a set of six, such great detail. Why do I keep buying so much glassware? Cause true confessions, I really hate dishes. I need a dishwasher person, but I guess that's me. I picked up this bag of goodness. I mean, you can't pass these up when they're like together at the end of the day and 50% off, right? And that cute little herb jar shaker that's like solid wood. This guy's missing his second handle, but never you mind. That's part of the vintage charm, right? I got this whole box for $10 and I'm not even sure what's in the bottom. What a beautiful pattern. And so far we have six of these. And one that looks like this, six teacup plates. Well, so far only four teacups. But what a fun sugar creamer set. Six of these lunch and dessert plates. Before we see the last thing, let's do our thought of the week. Abundance is the simple recognition of enoughness. And my last catch, Ruby Glass Punch Bowl set. I wasn't gonna get this one, but she threw it in for free. Come back tomorrow. There'll be more vintage goodness.